the non historical cost methods are standard cost and adjusted selling price there are a few other methods but these are more in practice standard cost would be discussed in detail at a more advanced level however it is a cost which is given by the management the management taking into consideration the costs of purchase usage normal losses etc arrives at a standard price a price a cost at which all issues would be charged at which all inventories would be valued the adjusted selling price is normally used in small retail shops grocery shops etc this is applicable for retail items like maybe pens soaps powders etc where there are a large number of brands of similar values and difficult to identify each one separately and value the inventories under this method the selling price less the estimated gross profit margin take the expected selling price estimated gross profit is reduced from it to arrive at the cost which is how inventory is valued this is a recognized method for certain items largely sold under the retail method to understand this example fully let us do an exercise from the following information compute the cost of inventories under the adjusted selling price method goods received from suppliers is 15 lakhs subject to trade discount and sales tax the trade discount is 1% sales tax is 10% packaging and transportation charges are 66500 sales during the year 20 lakhs and sale price of the closing inventories 5 lakh now using the adjusted selling price method if we have to find out the value of inventories we need to take the sales price of the closing inventories deduct the gross profit margin however the gross profit margin has not been given to us therefore we need to compute and see what is the gross profit margin so adjusted selling price would be the sale price of closing inventories that is 5 lakh less estimated profit what is the estimated profit let us work that out this is our working note here the goods that we have received from suppliers is 15 lakh let us say the purchase cost is 15 lakh trade discount 1% so less trade discount 1% that is 15000 we get 1 lakh sorry 15 lakh 85000 14 lakh 85000 add sales tax of 10% 1,48,500 giving us a total of 
16 lakh 33500 packing and transportation Sixty six thousand five hundred seventeen lakh is our total cost of purchases. Sales during the year is twenty lakh, and you have a closing stock of five lakh. if the entire goods if all the goods purchased were sold the sales value would be actual sales is 20 lakh and sales value of closing inventory is 5 lakh giving us a total value of 25 lakhs if we compare the sale value of the entire lot with the purchases purchase cost cost of procurement 17 lakh we get a profit of 8 lakh therefore gp margin we have made a gross profit of 8 lakh on a total sales value of 25 lakh giving us a gp margin of 32%. Let us just go through the entire sequence in order to find out the adjusted selling price. We take the sale price of inventories which is 5 lakhs and we need to deduct the estimated profit which right now we have computed is 32%. But we needed to find out what is the gross profit margin. For that we took the purchases and found out the total cost of purchases it was 15 lakh less trade discount add sales tax and finally gave us a total purchase value of 17 lakh in order to find out the gross profit had the entire lot of this purchases been sold we would have got a sales value of 25 lakhs 25 lakhs less the purchase cost of 17 lakh gives us a gross profit of 8 lakh 8 lakh divided by 25 lakh sales gives us a profit margin of 32% therefore sale price of inventories closing inventories is 5 lakh estimated profit 32% gives us 1 lakh 60000 therefore the value of inventories would be 3 lakh 40000 this would be the cost of inventories at the adjusted selling price in this example we needed to compute the estimated profit if the estimated profit is known we reduce the estimated profit margin from the sell selling price of the inventories to arrive at the cost price of the inventories inventory would be valued at this cost at it is called adjusted selling price